So the torture room, that's where we are right now. You can see a replica of a whipping block. The prison said to kneel down there and they received 25 blows which means they killed them. Many of us lost their consciousness. The first lost their consciousness, the whole thing was stopped and repeat from getting to make sure they gave the full pleasure to the assassin to make fun of them. And also they had to count on why they were beaten up. They made a mistake, what happened? Start all over. Very obvious. So, very brutal punishment here. And um, that was not the only thing they did here. Also, all names were carried out. The prisons were suspended by the wrist, the arms they were pulled out like this behind their back. There were poles from left to right in all these arches. And they would hang there for up to two hours to make it worse. The SS could jump on them to make them heavier or whip them while they were hanging. There was no limit to brutality. So all this was done from the beginning. Often other prisons were motivated to help out here, to torture some of the people in this room. This is not the only place where people were mistreated. Also on the square outside, a lot of people were made suffer. Some dissidents were executed there. You will see that score a bit better in a few moments, but also you will later on see a place where they hang a lot of people. There's a gallows standing in my auditorium where dozens were hanged before front dies in the office. You probably know that there is a large artwork outside of the square, but not work from 1968. So when the camp was news, there was no artwork there. The entire square was flat and covered by gravel. But it's a very impressive artwork with some sculptures, which I will show you now. And um, if you feel thirsty, we can stop somewhere in the way, you can refill your bottles again. You could drink water from the tap, which you can use all over, right? All right, folks.